Hi, I'm Eva, one half of the Jarza Twins. We made some designs for Smirnoff using the amazing Smart Streams D4D software and this is Kai from HP who is going to show you how to use it click by click. Hi everybody, I'm Guy. Uh, I'm going to show you how to create uh, variable images, sort of what we see here. So basically in this image you can see that we have this figure but with, between the different pages we have different hats and we have different background color both for the entire piece and for this circle over here. Um, the way that we're creating those uh, variable channels is actually very easy and uh, very illustrator uh, oriented. So we're creating image boxes. The image boxes will be connected to an Excel spreadsheet. This Excel spreadsheet has the images in them and the data just flows, takes the image and place it over here. So to begin with, I need a database file. The database file looks like this, just the columns of the things that you want to change. The things that are changing are in different uh, columns with headers. The headers is what you'll see as the variable data and designer will take each row and place the images accordingly. Okay, let's go to Illustrator and connect this database file. In order to bring the uh, SmartStream Designer palette, I'll just, I have it over here. I'll just reset it to get all the tools. And now I'll connect the database file. I'll go to the database window. I have it already set up, but I'll reset it as well. I'm selecting the database file. This is my Excel file. It brings up all the data from the Excel file and I can also select the default assets folder. The default assets folder is where the images reside and when the designer calls these images, he knows where to look for them. I'll select. This is my assets folder. Now I'm ready to create the channels. I'll bring the layers palette. I have a VDP layer set up over here and I'll use it in order to create the variable channels. I'll take the image box and create the background. Just place it where I want it to be. Now I need to set it up as a channel. I'll go to the channels palette in Smart Stream Designer, click the image channel. That's creating a new channel. It's actually a regular element in Illustrator so you can move it around. I want it beneath the logo, so I'll place it over here. Once I click this channel, I'm entering modify image channel. This is where I set up the parameters for this specific channel. So this is an image file and I want it to use a column from the database. I have all the columns of the database over here. I'll just use plain color. Then I have the format PDF. Append extension means that if my uh, image name is orange, it will add .pdf to it so it can find it in the assets folder. And it uses the default assets folder that we showed earlier that we selected in the database window. Once I click OK, this channel is set up. If I'll go to preview, you can see that the uh, background color is changing. Now we'll do the same for the hats. So I'll create another channel. Okay, so now we're going to build the channels for the hat. Again, I'm doing the same thing. I'm going to the VDP layer over here, selecting the image box and placing it where I want the element to be. Going to the channels palette again, creating a channel. Again, going to modify image channel. This is an image channel that will use the data field hats. The format is PDF, append extension, 
and it's going to the same assets folder. Basically, that's it. As I said earlier, because this is an Illustrator element, I can play around with the layers. So I want this specific channel to be above the logo, so I place it over here. If I click Preview on this, you can see that the hat is above the uh, Smirnoff logo. If I continue previewing, you can see the different hats. Now I want to create one last channel and it's a uh, the channel that is a background color uh, over here it's a special uh, image channel because it's circular it's not rectangular uh, and again since it's illustrator we can do that simply by selecting the ellipse tool over here selecting the layer that i want to draw in on and create it I'll create this as a channel again. I want this below the logo. Double click to modify. I'll select the data field plain color number two. This is a PDF with append extension and basically we're all set. Once I preview, I have all my channels ready and I can, can browse through them. Okay, so basically uh, we, we've seen in this uh, movie how to create background uh, channels and the hat channel and my database looked uh, with uh, three columns and had only three images in, in that but a designer can manipulate thousands and even millions of uh, different records uh, throughout uh, SmartStream Composer and so you can also create databases that look like this. You can change the faces, the patterns, the hats, etc., etc., etc. Just be organized of how you name the different images and uh, place them in the correct columns of the channels. In this example, you can see uh, multiple records, thousands, even tens of thousands. The D4D version only allows you to create a PDF of 20 records. If you want to create such a file with uh, enormous amounts of, of data, you need to go to a, a printer that had, has HP technology, uh, bring him an HPD file that will show you how to create in the next videos, and a database file with uh, all the data in them. He'll connect them together to create a large-scale PDF.